Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is July 31st, 2020. This is my 11th episode about vector calculus and the classical electromagnetic theory. In this episode, we will learn advanced debugging technique, how to attach console window to Qt GUI application, and how to handle events. We will learn how to handle events in Qt GUI application, how to attach console window to Qt GUI applications, how to use VAARGS periodic macro for debugging purpose, along with Perl expression. To follow this episode, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video in this series. Episode 10, we learned how to handle warning C4003 and also how to use Qt Toolkit in Visual Studio. I assume you have watched my previous video, otherwise you may not be able to follow my current session. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio 2019. Go to File, New, Project, Qt, select Qt GUI application, click Next, click Browse button. In your working directory, new folder, 011, Qt, Debugging, Console, select folder, Qt, GUI, Console, Debugging, click Create. Click Next. Please understand that we selected the core GUI VZ modules. In future sessions, we will also select OpenGL 3D. Click Next. Click Finish. In the Solution Explorer, right click Project Properties. Make sure all configurations selected, language standard, preview, features from latest C++, click apply, select, general, click this button, edit, click this button, include, hit enter, your fast should be resolved like this. We will add one more, click this button, percent, XML, Documentation file name. We discussed this macro in our previous episode. Click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. Now press Ctrl F5. You should be able to build successfully like this. Now change it to Release. Ctrl F5. I addressed this issue in our previous episode. Start your file explorer. From this folder, plug in, right click, copy, in this folder, release, Paste. Now press Ctrl F5. In release build, your application should run successfully. Now right click, properties, select, debug. Now linker, system, subsystem is console. In debug build, subsystem is console. Apply. In release build, subsystem is window. Please understand this configuration. Now, change it to debug, Ctrl F5. Now, in debug build, console window is attached. Now, close it. In release build, we build again, there is no console window. Now we will learn 
How to handle events in Qt GUI application. Close it, double click it, scroll down, graphic view, select empty space in the dialog box, right click, lay out horizontally. Now save it. In Visual Studio again, right click, add, filter, generated headers. Right click, add, existing item, x64, debug, uic, select this file. Sorry, I made a mistake. Properties, C++ General, Select All Configuration, Edit, It should be UIC. Hit Enter, click OK, click OK. Now, if you double click it, you will not see Skigl here. Now, I will include Q resize event here protected void resize event q resize event this is pointer event arg override this override is optional this is a virtual function overriding the definition defined in Q main window this class or Q widget the base class. Now copy this part. Copy in this file. Paste. Remove override. Copy the class name. Fix your code like this. Now, right click header files, add new item, header, talk play fun, qt, debug.hpp, hit enter. If not def, qt, talk play fun, qt, debug, hpp, and if. End of Copy this one like this. Define faced. If not def, no min max, and if define no min max. About this macro I discussed in previous episode. Include talk play fun output HPP. Include Q debug namespace talk play fun debug end of namespace talk play fun debug here template type name arg types void Q debug output arg types args now we use fold expression q debug operator ellipsis operator args this is fold expression template type name arg types void stream output arg types ARGS talk play fun S stream stream auto and L talk play fun and L. We create for the expression stream output operator ellipsis output operator ARGS. Don't forget stream and line. Now here if DEF Debug, this is for debugging build, and if, end of debug, 
define talk play fun to debug output like this we are calling this function here va args copy once again stream output for more information about ba args please refer to this documentation by control click in this documentation you can read more about variadic macros ba args now in console debugging.cpp we will include talk play fun qt debug now auto size event arg size if def debug and if now here talk play fun q debug output size width size height in debug build change it to debug build control f5 sorry i made a simple mistake here we have to prevent namespace here like this also here like this i will change it to stream output i fixed like this now in this file once again i made a very simple mistake this is event handler virtual function this is our window class defined here its face class is q main window whenever we handle event handler forward the event to base class okay we have to forward event to base class whenever we handle event it is good practice now press ctrl f5 now watch this console window if i resize the window size is displayed here okay now i close it in release build ctrl f5 we do not have console window i will demonstrate more advanced debugging technique gui application programming is much more complex than console application programming please double click it here file test hit enter in action editor we can see action test now save it in visual studio once again right click compile in qt gui console debugging here protected slash void test code snippet copy paste it here copy paste now here q object connect ui action test if you cannot find in the list then double click it sorry change it to debug we have to change it to debug rebuild then it will be reloaded this is the action test here ui action test this is q action triggered comma this address qt gui colon test code snippet sorry we have to remove parentheses like this fix your code like this now here if def debug 
and if. Now we can test our code here like this. Size t element count std c out enter an integer std c in element count std vector v element count for or e b std c out enter element count integers std and std c in e talk play fun stream output v equals v sorry i have to fix like this also, I will fix my typo here. I fixed. I also have to fix it here. I fixed typo. Now, Ctrl F5. Please note that we are in debug build. If we click test, then in this console window, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, once here again, we can use our GUI application as normally. If we need to test 6, I put random numbers. Now, I close it. Close it. In release build, Ctrl F5, our application runs successfully, and the test, there is no action, because in release build, this code is disabled. GUI application programming is much more complex than console application programming, so we need some simple and easy way to test code snippet as well as debugging.